Hi, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Mayra. How, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> oh, very well. <laughs> I'm tired. Yes, I, I, could, um, I could see it because of your tone. <laughs> okay, but, but the most Hello, important teacher. is that you're here. Hello, Maho, how are you? Yeah. Hello, Wendy. Hello, teacher. Eh, so, eh, solo voy a, voy a tener la cámara encendida, pero voy a estar de oyente porque estoy en el trabajo, porque mañana empieza el evento de Hot Weekend en el trabajo. Okay, no problem. If it's because of okay. work, no problem. Okay? Okay. Thank you. All right. Very good. Hi, Maho. Hi, teacher. How do you feel today? Mm, very good. Oh, nice. I like that attitude. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Ellen Nielsen. Hi, teacher. What's up? Well, nothing much. Just the same thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> always, right. Are you working? Yeah, the night I'm working. You have the night shift? Yes. Okay. But you are going to be participating in the class, right? Yeah, yeah, oh, always. Perfect. Nice. It's good that you have the chance to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hello, Santos. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good. And you? Oh, I'm very well. Thank you. You are not okay. working, right? Yeah. You I are or you work. are not? Uh, in this moment, no. No work. Oh, no. Not, not in this moment. Okay. No. I didn't I, see how. I, I work. I, I work in on day. Mm, I see. I I didn't see Javier in yesterday's class. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, teacher. Good night. Hello. Good evening. <laughs> um. Very good. Sorry nice. for. Uh, but no. Uh, they connected the class. The yesterday. <laughs> I imagine you were working. <laughs> no. Yes, yes. Ah, okay. Yes, teacher. All right. It's good to see you again. Thank you, teacher. All right. Hello, Walter. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How do you feel tonight? Very good. Oh, nice. I'm fine. Very well. Good. Hi, Danielle. Very well. Hi, teacher. How are you? Um, <laughs> tired. <laughs> A little tired, yes. yes. I, 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 I guess when you are tired because, because of your tone. El tono dice que están cansados. The tone says you are tired. The same yes. for Mayra. She, when she said, fine, but, but I heard something different. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> yeah, the tone is different. Okay, so we're about to start. Uh, I sent something to your WhatsApp, but don't pay attention to it right now. Les envié algo a WhatsApp, pero no pongan atención ahorita eso. Don't pay attention to that, okay? Luego vamos a ver eso. We will see that later. Solo lo mandé para que esté ahí listo. Uh, for the moment, we use it, okay? Okay, so uh, let me pass the attendance then uh, to start uh, today's class. Aida? Claudia? Daniel? Present. Doris? Doris Raquel is not here. No, right? Ellen Nielsen? Present, teacher. Elsie? Present, teacher. All right. Harrison? Irma? Irving? Present. Very good. Javier? Present teacher. Mayra? Mayra? Oh, <laughs> present. No, no le escuché, le oí cortado. Ah, Perdón. okay. May, maybe you thank have you. connection problems. Um, okay, Milton? Thank you. All right, Rafael? 
Santos? I am here, teacher. Very good. Sara? Mm, Sara no se nos ha conectado. Ulises? Teacher. All right. Walter? Present. Wendy? Oh, she's present. I am here, teacher. Yeah. It's okay. Continue working. Don't worry. Um, Jessica? Present teacher. Very nice. Hazel? Mauricio? Majo? Present teacher. Carla? Okay, that's it, right? Okay, um, well, everybody, uh, thank you very much uh, for taking the time to connect today. All right, thank you very much. I appreciate uh, your, your disposition, okay, to get, to get connected uh, to the class, okay? So we are going to, um, to start uh, today's class and just let me go to, to something here quickly, okay? Just let me look for something I need quickly. Okay, let me see, hold on a second, hold on a second. Okay, so basically uh, yesterday uh, we started um, different steps or different tips, okay? We can call them tips. We study different tips to write a formal email, okay? Different tips to write a formal email, all right? Uh, can you remember one of the tips? Pueden recordar algunos tips? Can you remember some of the tips for writing formal emails? Mm, which ones do you remember? In English, of course, okay? <laughs> you can check and you can tell me. You can check. It's okay, just to, to refresh. They should have uh, clear information. Good, clear information, that's right, okay? Clear information, that's right. What else? What else? Tips? for writing formal emails or effective emails. So uh, Ulisa says uh, it needs clear information, right? We need clear information. What else? Que mas? Yes, Daniel? Don't use all capitals. That's right. Don't use all capitals or lowercase or lowercase letters, right? Or solo minúsculas or yeah. lowercase letters. Very good. Thank you, Daniel. Who else? Quem mais? Who else? Be brief. Be brief. If your, me be brief. If your message is too long, consider using an attachment. That's right. So this is important, right? So be brief. <coughs> Sorry. Be brief in your email. That means be brief, write little, not much, not a long email. And if you feel that you need to write a long email, consider an attachment, okay? Un archivo adjunto, consider an attachment. It can be a PDF document or a Word document, right? It depends on the information you want to, to share, okay? Good. So what else? We have three tips. Clear information, don't use all capitals or lowercase letters, and the tip uh, they just mentioned, right? So what else? Come on. Uh, remember oh. to write, please, and thank you. That's right. So you have to be polite. If you are asking yeah. for a favor, say please. And at the end, say thank you, all right? I said that when I send emails, sometimes I write thank you beforehand at the end of the email. Al final del correo yo escribo a veces gracias de antemano. Thank you beforehand. That's important to say thank you. Many if it's a favor, right? Good, what else? What else? They should have a... Oh, I think he has... Repeat it, please, Walter. We didn't listen to the last part. They should have, Walter? Uh, I don't understand. What, what is oh, the question? Or, or is Ulysses, who was participating? Yes. Ah, Ulysses, please. I'm sorry. They it's Ulysses. Have... They should 
should have a greeting. That's right. They should have a, sorry, Walter, I confused you, okay? Sorry. Uh, so Lisa says the email should have a greeting like good morning, good afternoon, dear. Dear is important, right? Like, for example, dear Mayra Menjiva at the, at, the, at the beginning, in el principio del correo, querida, hey, dear. All right. Thank you, Ulises. Uh, Mayra, do you want me to participate? Using closing. That's right. Uh-huh. Using like a... this reward, reward looking for, forward to your comment, comment. except. That's right. So we have to use a closing or, or a closing phrase or a closure, un cierre, okay? ¿Qué ponemos en el cierre? What do we put? Best regards, regards, looking forward to your comments, for example, okay? Sincerely, ponen algunos, sincerely, all right? Sincerely. Good. So we need a closing, right? Necesitamos un cierre. So what else do we need? the main point at the beginning of the email, right? El punto principal, the main point or the main idea, okay? So that's important, the main point, all right? Or the focus point. Uh, it's like the, the main idea, la idea principal del correo, okay? What you want with the email, okay? Good. So basically that's it, right? I think that was it. Creo que eso era todo. I think that was it. So let me, let me check here. So these are the tips, basically, okay? Oh, the subject, okay? Remember, in the subject, don't put important or document, okay? So the subject has to be a relevant topic, all right? A relevant topic, all right? And the salutation you mentioned, the main point we mentioned, capital O. Oh, no abbreviations, all right? No abbreviaturas, no abbreviations, remember, like PLZ, for please, no, all right? Um, basically, oh, the signature, the signature black, we forget this, okay, esto lo olvidamos, the signature black is like, al final va como la, la, la información del, de quien envía el correo, your name, your address, business address, and your phone number. And don't forget, edit and proofread before you send the message, all right? Edita y revisa antes de enviarlo. Edit and proof read before you send the message. So these are the tips to write formal emails, all right? Okay. Based on this, basado, basado en esto, based on this, uh, in this moment, you will take around 15 minutes, all right? In 15 minutes, you will write a formal email, okay? You can do it on your cell phone if you want. I think it's better if you do it on, you, on your cell phone, all right? And when you finish, cuando terminen, ustedes deciden a quién se lo van a mandar. You decide who you want to send the email to, all right? Choose one classmate. Elijan a un compañero. Choose one classmate. But don't tell him, okay? Or don't tell her. No le digan, no le digan a la persona. Okay. What is the email about? ¿De qué va a ser el correo? What will be the email about? Here. Here. It says, write a professional email to a coworker. Okay, confirm that you need to meet with him or her tomorrow. In this case, sería to a classmate, a un compañero. Okay, we'll change. Vamos a cambiar. So write a professional email to a classmate. Confirm that you need to meet with him or her tomorrow. Confirma que te vas a reunir con él o ella mañana. So please select a classmate and write a professional email. All right? ¿Qué van a hacer con ese correo? El form Sigamos el formato como de un correo, ¿verdad? Subject, uh, email, por ejemplo, aparece, no sé si han, si han visto algún formato en inglés de un correo electrónico. Have you seen any format? De un correo en inglés. No? Have you ever seen one? If you haven't, I show you one. Si no los han visto, les puedo mostrar uno en este momento. You want me to, to show you one? ¿Quieren que les muestre uno? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes, all right. Teacher. Let me look for one because I don't have it like here ready. Okay. I have one here. Let me see if it's if it's clear. Okay. This is for you to have a better idea, right? Okay. 
Okay, hold on a second. Okay, por acá está uno. I have one here. Let me zoom it in. Solo le voy a dar zoom. Okay, it's open. Just give me a minute. Okay, here I have one. Okay, let me share with you. Le voy a compartir pantalla. Let me share screens with you. Okay, so this is how an English uh, email goes, all right? Let me show you. Okay, so this is for you to have an idea, right? Uh, uh, for example, we have from the person who sends the email, right? To, and then the, the name, all right? Uh, then this is it that is like copy, copy copia a alguien. Attachment, si, si, si va algún, algún attachment, ok. Aquí donde dice tú va el correo, ok. Aquí está el nombre porque no está como en formato de correo. Then BCC, si se lo van a copiar a alguien, ok. And from, ahí sería su correo, from su correo, ok. Uh, y luego miren, aquí va el formato, ok. Dear, Mr, bla, bla, bla. And then the information, y luego la, la signature, lo que aparecía. El, el cierre que es best regards, si se fijan acá. Ok, so más o menos así va. Más o menos este es, el, es la forma de seguirlo. Ok, les dejo ese para que escriban el de ustedes. Yes. Yep. All right. Very good. Yes, teacher. Yes, decidan, ok, decide, yes, please. Decidan a quién se lo van a escribir de sus compañeros. All right. So you can say, for example, dear Mayra Menjivar. Ok. From. Bernardo.martinez.martinez at minet.edu.sb, right? Tú, y luego le pueden preguntar el correo a esa persona si quieren, all right? If you want, you can ask, all right? No problem. Okay, go ahead. Remember to be brief. Recuerden ser breves. Remember to be brief, okay? Y consideremos los pasos. Consider the steps, please. The tips. Pueden hacerlo en su, en su WhatsApp o en, no, no sé, si está en el teléfono, porque lo van a compartir en el chat de aquí, de Zoom, ¿ok? En un momento. Así que tenganlo en digital. Have it digital, please. Solo de copiar y pegar, tenganlo listo, ¿ok? Copy, paste. So you can write it on WhatsApp. And you can send it to your wife. Pueden enviarlo a su esposa, a su esposo, a su novio, a su novia, a su hijo, a su hija, ¿ok? Solo para copiar y pegarlo luego y enviarlo aquí en el Zoom, en el chat de Zoom, ¿ok? Teacher, yo lo envié al, al Zoom. Really? You finished? Oh, oh my goodness. No, perdón, perdón. Yo lo envié a... Perdón, al, al WhatsApp. Ok, let me, let me go and check. Al grupo, to the group, right? Oh, thank you. Ah, you sent the, this email, right? The screenshot of this email. Ok, thank you very much. Thank you, Walter. Y se lo voy a poner desde acá, porque desde acá empieza. From to... Teacher, entiendo que tenemos que enviar un correo a, a la otra persona. Yes, ahorita solo lo escriben nada más. Ok, just write it. Y tenganlo listo solo para copiar y pegar, ok. Pueden hacerlo en WhatsApp y se lo envían a, a alguien de su, a algún familiar si quieren, ok. Y luego les voy a decir yo qué hacer porque cuando yo les diga todos lo van a copiar y lo van a pegar en el chat de Zoom. Pero cuando yo les indique, ok, when I tell you, ok. Right now you can have it on WhatsApp. Pueden tenerlo ahí en WhatsApp. Se lo envían a alguien. You send it to someone. I will send you one example on WhatsApp. Le voy a enviar. Voy a hacer uno para, para que le caiga un ejemplo ahí en WhatsApp. ¿Ok?
Oh, aquí falta el subject. Oh, aquí está la par, sorry. It's here. Subject, es el número seis. Es el, el tema, ¿ok? O el asunto, subject, ¿ok? It's here. It's number six. I just sent you one real example to WhatsApp, all right? Ahorita les envía un ejemplo real a WhatsApp. I did it quickly, all right? So you can check it. Pueden revisarlo si quieren. You can check it if you want. Okay? To the WhatsApp group. Se los envía al grupo de WhatsApp. I sent it to the WhatsApp group. So you can check it to have a better idea. Pueden revisarlo para tener una mejor idea, okay? So you can go to, to the WhatsApp group and check, all right? I am sending the email to Walter, walter at gmail.com. Copy to yes, ariasa yeah. at gmail.com, okay? Subject, meeting invitation. So you can check to have a better idea. 
¿Les aparece en WhatsApp? Does it appear on your WhatsApp? Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Remember to be brief, all right? Recuerden ser breves. Remember to be brief. Just what you need directly. Don't be redundant. After I finish um, then, um, at the email. No, no. WhatsApp. No, no. You are not going to send it to WhatsApp. Go to Zoom, and on Zoom, you have an option that is chat. Okay, you will send it on the chat. Ahí en chat lo va a mandar. So you copy and paste on the chat. Okay? Chats is the option. Okay? Pero estoy conectada desde la computadora y lo hice en el teléfono. Um, but you are not, um, you are not connected on the cell phone, no? No, aquí lo tengo. But can you get connected uh, to WhatsApp on your computer? ¿Puede conectarse a WhatsApp en su computadora? No. No. Finish teacher. Okay, that's excellent. Do the same, okay? So um go to chats 
on Zoom, right? On Zoom, not on WhatsApp, on Zoom, all right? Go to chats and share your email. Y ahí envías tu correo. Only copy and paste, all right? And share on chats. The option chats is next to participants or chair, I think. Chat, it says. Okay, let me see. Yes, Ulysses, yes, I, I can see it, Ulysses. I will go checking, all right? Voy a ir revisando, I will go checking quickly, all right? I will check it quickly. Thank you, Ulysses. Or oh, you are sending the email to me, all right. Thank you, Ulysses. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Let's see Midas. Tomorrow's meeting is uh is your subject, right, Maida? Yes, right. Me equivoqué en una letra ahí, pero ahí entiendan. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry. Uh, but who are you sending? Uh oh, you you, you miss from. Okay, en el correo debe ir from, de parte de quién, from, and your email, right? Okay. From, and your email. Yeah, but it's okay. Dear Mrs. Melara, good evening. It's a pleasure to greet you. I am writing you to request a meeting in class. Attentively, my language. You were really brief, Mayra. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you very much. Okay, let me see the others here. I, I can see Hazel has sent it too. Okay, Hazel, let me read yours. For Ulysses, right? So you can read it, Ulysses. This is for you. <laughs> Hazel has sent you an email. Oh, it's for Ulysses or for Walter? For Walter, right? I think. It's Ulysses. Ah, it's for Ulysses. <laughs> yeah, because he says, Dear Walter Estrada. <laughs> All right. It's for you, then, Ulysses. Okay, let's read Claudia. She's writing to dear Lucia, right? To Miss Lucia Aragon. Ah, what is the subject, Claudia? Sorry. Claudia, hello. Hello, teacher. El subject is sample. Como muestras. Ah, okay, samples, all right. Uh... Okay, I feel you need something Western. else uh -huh. because it's a little like, I don't know, you, you, I feel you need something else. Okay, good morning, dear Lucia. Can you remind you? I certainly request attention to this point that I have been requesting since, oh my goodness. And so far, I have not been given any type of response or confirmation on the subject. Okay, waiting for your kind reply. Regards, it's okay. Solo falta el signature, la firma, Claudia. Okay, uh, for example, okay, regards, uh, Claudia and full name, then the, the, the address and your position at the company could be, okay? Okay. All okay. right. Okay. Sorry? Punto menos para Claudia. No, 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 I mean, <laughs> not a less point. Okay, let's see. Here's Stanley Estrada. Sorry, Claudia. 
A Ulises le gusta bromear. Yeah, I can see that. Somos compañeros de trabajo. Ah, that's the reason. I'm sending this email to invite you to tomorrow's meeting. For me, it is very important that we meet to see the budget of the project this year. It will be a pleasure. It will be a pleasure uh, to you have you with us. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's continue watching. Walter Estrada, project manager, uh, the address and the number. It's okay, Walter, it's excellent. Let's see Ellen Nielsen's. He's writing to yeah. Rafael, right? Subject Saturday's meeting. I hereby inform you that on Saturday, <laughs> related to the transition that is taking place between J and J and Louis Parker, so I kindly ask you to be on the formation day at eight in the morning. Without further uh, ado, I say goodbye, best regards, waiting for your comments. Okay, good. Uh, yes, yeah, Elena Nilsson, uh, Aparicio, maybe you can, you can write, it's okay, all right, but maybe you can add the, the address, okay, and the position. Okay. okay? And okay, that'll perfect. be it. Okay, because of because we need a, a, a signature, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, let's see. Um Javier's. He's writing to Aparicio del Cid. <laughs> okay, let's see. <clears throat> Dear Nelson, I'm writing to you to inform you of the meeting on Saturday morning to discuss the day lay points of the new company. See you. The meeting sincerely, Javier, project manager, reason. Okay, it's very, it's very good, Javier. Excellent. Let's see, Majos. Confirm the meeting. <laughs> Me gusta esta, este subject de Majo. <clears throat> confirm the meeting. Confirma la reunión. Confirm the meeting. Good morning, co-workers. Please confirm the assistant meeting for the... <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's okay, Majo. It's brief and clear. Excellent. Okay, I'm looking forward uh, to reading the others, okay? Voy a esperaré unos dos minutos más para que lo envíen los demás. I will wait for two more minutes for the others to send the email, okay? Sí, eh, me ausenté un ratito. Le tengo que ir a dar la medicina a mi madre. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, go. Thank no you. problem, no problem. So I am missing Santos email, Elsie, yes, Mauricio, Majo too, no, oh, Majo has sent it. Elsie, sorry. Carla hasn't sent it either. Jessica Marisol, are you working on the email, Jessica? Uh, teacher. Hello. Eh, sí, fíjense que yo eh, para compartirlo en el chat eh, sí se me dificulta porque en el teléfono estoy viendo la clase, ¿verdad? Pero sí lo tengo en digital en la computadora, pero no sé ahí cómo enviarlo a, al chat de Zoom. Al chat de Zoom. No tiene... Sí, if, uh, pero, so, ya just one question. No puede eh, ver WhatsApp en su computadora, WhatsApp web. No. Eh, sí, sí, sí. Ajá, puede abrir WhatsApp web y puede enviarlo a WhatsApp y de WhatsApp lo saca de su teléfono, ok, lo copia y lo pega en el chat de, de acá de, de Zoom. Está conectada de su ajá. teléfono, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Ajá, Estoy entonces ajá, habrá WhatsApp en su computadora y se lo envía a alguien, ok, en su computadora. Y luego se va a su teléfono y a quien se lo envió lo copia de ahí y lo pega en el chat de Zoom, ok. Ah, uh -huh. Okay, no problem. O incluso lo puede enviar a un correo. Y si anda correo en su teléfono, solo lo copia del correo al que lo envió. Uh -huh. It's also possible, all right? Okay. Okay, I'll give you one more minute. Y los que vayan terminando después lo van enviando. Yo lo voy a ir revisando, okay? I will go check in it during the class, okay? So I'll give you one more minute. Le daré un minuto más a los que aún no terminan. One more minute. And you can share during the class. Okay, pueden ir compartiendo durante la clase y yo los reviso. No se preocupen, don't worry, okay? Okay, teacher. Eh, bueno, me había sentado un momento, teacher, así es que estoy intentando recapitular. Yeah, it's okay. But Una you know... Ajá, uh -huh, but you know what you're doing, right? Pero sabes, 
sí, sí, sabe, sí, sí sabe, está en sintonía en lo que okay. estamos haciendo ahorita, ¿sí? Estoy intentando ponerme un poco en sintonía. Ok, so, uh, sí, lo que van a hacer es escribir un correo, un correo a un compañero, ¿ok? Y ayer vimos unos tips para escribir un correo, ¿verdad? Y ahí les envío un ejemplo de cómo les quedaría en WhatsApp. ¿Mm? Ah, perfecto. En el grupo okay. de WhatsApp, ¿all right? Okay. Gracias, thanks. All right, no problem. Ok, people. So, uh, please, um, I, I read, I don't know if somebody else sent another one. No sé si alguien más envió alguno. The last one I read was Majos, right? Oh, Daniel sent one. Oh, but Daniel only sent the And from. <laughs> ok, I think it's missing some information, Daniel. Creo que falta ahí alguna información. Ok, everybody. Uh, well, listen, uh, the, the, the most important here in this activity or the idea of this uh, activity is for you to write an email with the different parts an email has, all right? La idea es que aprendan a escribir un correo en inglés con sus partes, okay? With the different parts. Yeah, that's the idea here. No matter if it's short or long, all right? No importa si es cortito. The idea or, or the, the most important is to have the idea of how to do it, okay? Lo más important, importante es tener una idea de cómo hacerlo. To have an idea of how to do it. Okay, and I think now you have a, a, an idea, okay? You have a clear idea. Creo que ahora tenemos más o menos una idea clara. We have a clear idea, I think, right? Or am I wrong? O me equivoco? Am I wrong? No, right? No, no, right? It's clear, I think. Okay, well, thank you very much. Los que no han terminado durante la clase, cuando lo terminen, lo envíen al chat de Zoom para ir revisándoselos ahí, okay? To go and check it, yeah? Please, por favor, please. Um, and just before I forget, solo antes de pasar a la, a la siguiente actividad y antes de olvidarlo, recuerden que mañana es viernes y mañana antes de la sesión deben tener completa la sección número 3 en la plataforma, ¿ok? Por si se me olvide y ahorita que hay varios conectados, ¿ok? Mañana antes de la sesión tener completa la sección número 3 en la plataforma, ¿ok? Please, por favor, please, all right? Good. Uh, so let's go to the next activity. Uh, in the next activity, we have a short discussion, all right? And the discussion, it's this, okay? Question number one is, is the word etiquette familiar to you? Okay, the word etiquette, is it familiar to you? Okay, um, mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. Are these rules important and why? For example, if you ask me, Bernardo, is the word etiquette familiar to you? I say, yes, it is. ¿Es la palabra etiqueta o estás familiarizado con la palabra etiqueta? Etiquette? I say, yes. Yes, all right, yes, it is. Mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. And then I mention two rules, all right? Les menciono dos reglas de etiqueta en mi trabajo, okay? For example, one etiquette at work is Come to work before seven. Come to work before seven is etiquette at the workplace, okay? Uh, another is dress formal clothes. Dress formal clothes, all right? Lleva ropa formal o viste ropa formal is another etiquette, okay? And we have more. Or maybe you can say wear the uniform. Usa el uniforme, wear the uniform is an etiquette, right? Es una etiqueta. Or maybe... Uh, don't eat at the office. No coma en oficina. Don't eat at the office. It's an etiquette. Maybe at the company. I don't know. Are these rules important? Yes, they are. Why? Because um, the comp uh, because they keep order in the company. Porque mantienen el orden en la compañía, puede ser. Because they keep order at the company, all right? I don't know. It's your answer, pero aquí es su respuesta, okay? So please take a moment and answer the three questions. So in question number one, you say, yes, it is, or no, it's not, okay? And in question number two, you write the two rules, okay, of etiquette. Number three, you say, yes, they are. Are these rules important? Yes, they are. And you explain. You give a short 
explanation, all right? Dan una breve explicación. You give a short explanation. Yes, tell me. Este, ¿Cómo puedo decir cuando donde dice que tienen dos reglas de etiqueta de nuestro trabajo? Eh, un yes. ejemplo, eh, en la fábrica es obligación usar accesorios de seguridad, como por ejemplo protectores auditivos. Como All right. Decir. Maybe you can say um, wear, wear, like wear, like usar. W-E-A-R. Wear safety accessories. Or safety equipment, you can say. Okay, wear, like this. Wear. Safety. Equipment. Okay. Like the helmet, the earbuds. Okay. Equipment. Like this, wear safety equipment, all right? That's an etiquette. Wear safety equipment, all right? Thank you, teacher. All right, no problem. Can I erase it, ma? Puedo borrarlo? Can I erase it? Yes. Yes, teacher. All right, thank you.
Two more minutes, okay? Two more minutes to finish. And then we share. Excuse me, cuando dice Sorry, my trabajo. Perdón, es que hace poco vine. Cuando dice etiqueta en el lugar de trabajo, se refiere a um, equipo de seguridad. Yeah, no, it's about things you should or things you shouldn't do at the workplace, right? Things you should or should not do at the workplace. This is etiquette at the workplace. For example, uh, in my workplace, uh, one etiquette is uh, wear formal clothes. Wear formal clothes is one etiquette in my workplace, okay? Yeah. But maybe in your workplace, you have different etiquette. I don't know, all right? So you need to write okay. two etiquettes, two rules of etiquette. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Thank you. All right, no problem. Uh, in, in the last question, okay, don't give a long explanation. No den una explicación tan larga del why. Okay, don't give a long explanation. Just make it simple, okay? A simple explanation, a simple reason, okay? Okay, um, so these questions are on page number 35, okay? Pagina 35, page number 35. Pronunciation of the questions. Question number one, is the word etiquette familiar to you? Etiquette, etiquette, etiquette. Is the word etiquette familiar to you? Is the word etiquette familiar to you? Etiquette. Mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. Mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. Are these rules important? Are these rules important? Why? Okay, are these rules important and why? Qu uh, page number 35, okay, página número 35, page number 35. Okay, so I will give you a space to practice the questions, okay? Le voy a dar un espacio para que practiquen las preguntas. I will give you a space to practice the questions. So please take turns. Toman turnos. Take turns in the groups, okay? Are you ready to share? ¿Están listos para compartir? Are you ready to share? Yes, no. Okay, just share what you have, all right? Share what you have. Compartan lo que tienen. Share what you have, okay? Please. Okay, so let's go and share in groups. Take turns, please. Toman turnos, take turns.
Mencione dos reglas de etiqueta del lugar de su trabajo. Yes. ¿Verdad? Sí. Mention to rule of etiquette of, of your work, workplace. Etiqueta es, la, es, de, es de, de, de address. Podría ser. Teacher, de, de, de uniform. I don't know. The no, it depends. I mean, it depends on the etiquette in your workplace. It depends on the workplace, okay? It depends on the company. Oh. Okay. Yeah, okay. In, in general, etiquette are rules to follow in the company, right? Or things you should or should not do at the company, okay? Cosas que se deben o no se deben hacer en la compañía. So that's etiquette in the company, okay? Okay, okay. Yeah. Understand, so super, understand. <laughs> These are like, like norms. Son como normas, like norms you have to follow, yeah. right? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Uh, so did you share? Did you ask and answer? Did you finish? Yes. No? Yes. Okay, that's it. Estamos esperando Rafa now. Ah, okay, you're waiting for Rafa. Okay, perfect. It's R. Why? Um, it, because this helps better sociability and the number one is it's important to have better sociability porque era como saludar a todos ¿no? number two is mm -hmm. es, eh, si comes en la uh, escritorio es como strong odors can be uncomfortable for others o sea, los, olor, los fuertes olores de la comida puede ser eh, incómodo para otros y y also distract from the task they are doing. Y puede distraer de las tareas que ellos hacen. Okay. This is my, my answer. Sí, response. And hasta ahí llegado. <laughs> Me hace falta terminar esa. Sure. Bueno, si gusta pregúntame a mí entonces y después. Sí, 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 ahorita, ahorita. Hello. Give me a moment. Pero, pero él, el, usted, él tiene una pregunta al teacher. Yeah, what is your question, Mrs. Uh, how do you say higiene? Hi, hygiene. In hygiene. 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 Yes. Thanks. All right, no hygiene. problem. Hygiene. Okay. Majo. Is the word eti etiquette familiar to you? Yes, it is. Mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. Uh, number one, not, not eating in the workplace. And like wear separate equipment. equipment. And are these rules important? Yes. Why? Because the factory with the responsibility and good quality. Only that. Okay. Thank you. Ahora, le pregunto a usted, Elsie, uh, Ulises. Hasta aquí se ve ese ventilador. Sí. <risa> es de majo. Sí, es, que está, es que está haciendo una gran calor aquí. Sí. Es de Hoy majo, día, ya sí. sé. Sorry, ya tenía me... apagado el, el, el micrófono. Yo sí. estaba hablando. <risa> Sorry. <risa> Ay, vaya, sí, Ulises. Es mío porque aquí hay mucho calor. Se salió Ulises. Uh, okay, se salió. Sí. Ah, 
nos dejó Ajá. solas con el teacher. Le vamos a preguntar al teacher mejor. Ah, pues al teacher. I have 10 seconds. 8, 7, 6, 5, bye, bye. This meeting is being recorded. Okay, dear people, uh, thank you very much uh, for taking the time to, to, to practice. Okay, so uh, did you finish the discussion? Did you finish the discussion? Yes, no? You didn't finish. Yes, you finished. All right. So uh, I will listen to, let me see how many people. I want to listen to three volunteers, okay? Quiero escuchar tres voluntarios. I want to listen to three volunteers. Who wants to volunteer? Quien quiere? Quien quiere ser voluntario? Who wants to be a volunteer? Me. Yes, anyone? Anyone? If I have no volunteers, I will finger point. Okay, I will finger point if I have no volunteers. Mauricio, I think. Mauricio, do you want to share? Yes. Yes, okay, Mauricio. Question number one. Is the word etiquette familiar to you? Yes, they same familiar. Uh, mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. Kick cell phone on be right, invite in personal space. Okay, that's excellent. So don't invade personal space. Very good. Uh, are these rules important? Yes, it creates a pleasant work environment. Okay, very good. To have a good environment or a pleasant environment. Excellent. Thank you, Mauricio. Thank you very much. Okay. Daniel. Daniel is raising hands, I think, right? Right, Daniel? Yes. Right. Okay, Daniel, is the word etiquette familiar to you? Yes. Okay, mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. Number one, put on the uniform mop. Okay. Two, wear safety shoes. All right, safety shoes, good. Are these rules important? Yes. Why? Uh, because to be protected in the okay. workplace. Excellent. Because you need to be protected in the workplace. Excellent, Daniel. Workplace. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, another volunteer, one last volunteer, un último voluntario, one last volunteer. One last volunteer. Maho, I think. Maho, yes? Yes. Yes, right. Okay, thank you, Maho. So, Maho, is the word etiquette familiar to you? Yes, it is. Okay, mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. Uh, use um, not eating in the workplace. Okay. And like wear safety, safety equipment. Equipment, good. Wear safety equipment. 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 Excellent. Thank you very much, Maho, and thank you everybody because I know everybody uh, practice. Okay, only three chairs here in the in the main session, but everybody practice in the groups. Okay, so thank you very much. So please go to reactions and give participations a reaction. Okay, go to reactions and give a reaction to your classmates. Vamos a reacciones y le dan una reacción a sus compañeros. Go to reactions and give a reaction to your classmates. Okay. So thank you for your um, participations, okay? Thank you for your courage. Voy a pasar asistencia, I will pass the attendance quickly. It's 9, 10 already. So Aida, Claudia. Present teacher. Daniel. Present. Doris. She's connected, I think, but she has connection problems. Ellen Nielsen. Present teacher. Chelsea. Present teacher. All right, Herson is not present. Irma? Irma is not connected today, right? Uh, Irving? Teacher, es que eh, igual ella trabaja en la cruz de que yo y ella es jefa, entonces estamos bien saturadas. Oh. Okay, entiendo, sí. entiendo. Yeah, okay. okay. Thank you for informing, Wendy. Thank you very much. Uh, Javier? I am here, teacher. 
Mayra. Present teacher. Nice. Milton is present, right? Yes. Yes. All right, thank you. Rafa. Rafa left. I am here. Oh, I am here to Okay, thank you, Rafa. Santos. Present teacher. Sara. Ulises. Microphone. Walter. Present teacher. It's okay. Present. Okay. Present. Wendy. I am here. Jessica. Present teacher. Hazel. Mauricio. Present teacher. Majo. Present teacher. Encarna. Present teacher. Disculpe okay. que no he estado ayudando. O sea, contestan. Pero estoy en presentación de PASDU. It's okay, it's okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Yo sé que es casi final de mes y todos andan corriendo en las compañías. Everybody is running at the company. It's all right. I understand that. Entiendo ese punto. I understand that point, okay? Solo porque es final de mes, okay? <laughs> all right. Uh, so let's continue uh, with the next activity. Uh, so listen. Uh, next, we have a little passage. And in this passage, or this article is about etiquette, okay? So for this passage, we will do three activities, all right? Vamos a hacer tres actividades para este párrafo que tenemos acá. So let me show you. So um, the passage or the, the article is about etiquette, okay? This is about workplace etiquette guidelines, okay? Page number 35. So you will do two things in groups. All right, van a hacer dos cosas en grupos ahorita. No vayan a hacer otra cosa que no les pida, por favor, por favor, okay? Don't, don't do something I'm not asking you to do. So number one, activity number one. So you read the article, and at the end, you have four questions, okay? We have four questions. Tenemos cuatro preguntas, yes? One, two, three, four. So please, read the questions. An answer with the correct or, or, or check the correct answer, all right? Read the equations and check the correct answer, either A, B, or C. To answer, you need to read the article, okay? Para contestar, hay que leer el artículo. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was sneezing. Okay, uh, so I, I, I repeat. To answer the questions, you need to read the article. Second activity, second activity, second activity. When you finish answering the questions, cuando terminen de responder las preguntas, check all new vocabulary and the meaning in the groups, okay? Van a revisar nuevo vocabulario y van a buscarlo, okay? En su equipo para que todos sepan el vocabulario nuevo. So everybody knows the new vocabulary, okay? Two things, dos cosas. Let me repeat for you. Number one, read and answer the questions. Number two, check all the new vocabulary with your group. Revisen todo el nuevo vocabulario con su equipo, okay? And the meaning, of course, y el significado and the meaning, okay? Page number 35, página número 35. Is it clear? Yes? Is it clear? Yes. Yes, okay, that's perfect. So please uh, go with the groups and I will give you more time for this. Para esto le voy a dar alrededor de 20 minutos porque es bastante lo que tienen que hacer, okay? I will give you about 20 minutes. If you need help, ask for help, okay? Please. Okay, let me make the groups. Voy a hacer los equipos. Let me make the groups. Okay, let's go.
No. Teacher, three people in the in the group. Okay, three this solo tres, four. No, cuatro. You cuatro. Are four. You are four. It's you. you, Ulysses, Wendy, and Claudia. But I guess Wendy is working. So don't don't interrupt her much. Creo que Wendy está okay. trabajando. Así que si ella les puede apoyar en algún momento, ya que les avise. Pero yo sé que ella está trabajando, ¿ok? I know she's working. Okay. Wendy is sleeping in the, in the work, work her. Yeah. But Claudia, is Claudia available? Aquí voy a dormir yo, compañero. I'm sorry. Palado de una refri, de una lavadora. Chaval. I am working uh, yesterday at night, Wendy. <laughs> Uh, Claudia is okay, available. Yes. yes, no. Hi, Claudia. No, yeah, oh, hi, dormida. teacher. No, hi. estoy. Hola, estoy en Lices. Ah. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the first is a new vocabulary. Yes. The first, the new vocabulary. Answer the questions. And then check the new first vocabulary. First, the question. First, answer ah, okay. the questions, and second, check the new vocabulary. Okay, teacher. Veamos. If you know you are late, you show. There are many more etiquettes, etiquette but the most important is. Compensate the time. <laughs> Rafael ahí. Okay, the first Rafael. Yeah, what? Buen musico tienen ahí. Three. Give the lane, give the lanes. How ha, however. Not, not the let's see, not let's see, one, three. The question number one. If you know, if, if you know you are late, you sure. Esa? Yes. If you know, you should tell your responsibility. It's necessary. Dice acá que si llegamos tarde. La primera, Entonces, ¿estás haciendo, el... Ulises? ¿Qué es la primera? Ajá, la primera, quiero ver. Es, es algo así como, si sabes que llegas tarde, deberías. De irte temprano. No. <risa> No, es que ahí dice que, que si en el párrafo dice que si llega tarde deberá llegar a presentarse con una autoridad correspondiente e informar la razón. 
in the information. Por ahí está en el doc. Está. En el, en el primer párrafo. Uh -huh. ¿no? Sí, en el primer párrafo está. Uh -huh. Ahí está abajo, en el, la, las últimas líneas del párrafo de abajo está. Sí, donde dice, if you know how you will date, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concert authority and report the reason. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y entonces, the answer correct is a uh, B. Call the person you report to. Ya encontramos la primera. Uh -huh. No, no, la gente. Question two. What, what is the tip to apply the official emails? Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In two case, it is necessary to have good grow knowledge. What is the meaning of the knowledge, teacher? It's conocimiento. Ah, tenemos conocimiento of the word thanks in my ethica. Yes, uh, the answer, the question two, is a um, letter C. Two is C. Claudia. Vamos ahí, Rafa. No llegas tarde. If you know you are late, you should. Si tú llegas tarde, deberías. Sabes que llegarás tarde. ¿Qué deberías hacer? O you should. Como call si the call the person. Call the person. Exactly. Call the person. Call the person you report to. You report to. Esa sería la, la respuesta. Para la pregunta uno es el literal B. What is that tip? Okay. Call the person. Ah, and number two, maybe letter C. Express Express yourself in a tree quickly. In number three is in which is no good etiquette when talking on the phone and there be interrupt the other speaker. Okay, this is one. O sea, como que está comparando y varias cosas. Es, no es una buena etiqueta no, cuando estás hablando. En, por ah, ejemplo, ¿cuál, cuál, es, ¿Cuál no es una buena etiqueta? Forma. Ajá, como Interrupte. Cuando está hablando al teléfono. Pero, pero cuando estoy hablando yo. 
O sea, aquí me hace la pregunta a mí, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál, ¿cuál no sería una buena norma de etiqueta cuando hablo por buena teléfono? Buena norma, de, uh -huh, uh -huh, exacto, de exacto. uno mismo. Exacto, entonces, uh -huh. para mí... El lo B, que... el B, bueno, para Ahí. mí, no sé. Para mí sería, bueno, según lo que leímos, este, dice que hay que hablar usar, usando una voz clara para que la otra persona ah, pueda. Pero que dice, it's not good. Exacto. No, dice, no, no es una buena. No ah. es una buena. Porque dice, it's not good. Ah, okay. Lo que está diciendo usted, si sí es, sí, es una buena. Exacto, exacto. Tiene razón. Uh -huh. Yo estaba, ya tengo sueño. Es cierto, es la B. Perdón. <risa> Interrupt the other speaker. Okay. En el número 4 tengo duda. Ya vamos a ver. La 4, veamos la 4. Dice la 4. If you receive a call while you're eating with co-workers, you should. Si tú recibes una llamada mientras tú estás comiendo con tus compañeros de trabajo, ¿qué deberías de, qué deberías de hacer? Ignorar la llamada y continuar comiendo, contestar el teléfono, contestar la llamada. Y en la mes, mesa. Y uh -huh. dejar la mesa y contestar la llamada. Uh -huh. Entonces, Yo bueno, la ignoraría. Depende, <ríe> depende de quién le hable. <ríe> Porque para no, mí es el La hora de comida es sagrada, dicen. Sagrada, ya. Bueno. Ah, sí, cuando le habla a Claudia para Rivas, ya lo voy a decir mañana, ya voy a decir. <risa> a ver si es cierto. Majo. Lo voy a, vamos a poner a prueba. It's about the article, don't forget. It's about the article, don't forget. <risa> Con que incluso una vez que estaba en la hora de almuerzo, Mauricio, y yo lo llamé, tuvo que llegar. Hasta con su mochilita, con su lunch, iba para mi área de trabajo. Así que no, por ahora le estoy diciendo que depende de Vea. la llamada. Uh -huh. Ok, ok, va, ok. Por eso es que hay que ignorar, porque si no, uno tiene que levantarse. <risa> <risa> ok, no, bueno. Entonces, este, ¿cuál, ¿cuál creen ustedes? Bueno, mm. a mí la más conveniente es ignorar, porque las demás dicen es levantarte de la, de la mesa y contestar. Pero, pero eso es para oh. usted, pero según contestar. lo que leímos, pero según lo, si ah. retrocedemos y volvemos, y al go to back, como dice, con todo lo que leímos, era, aquí habló algo cuando lo estábamos traduciendo. Cuando uno recibe la llamada, da un, da un consejo. For your eating, say, excuse me, and then, dice, receive the call. No. Dice, eh, aquí está. Cuando estás ah. en una celebración con tus compañeros de trabajo. Hay al, que decir, perdón, luego recibir. Hay que ah. decir, perdón, recibo la llamada y no hablo fuerte. Exacto. Entonces, entonces sería answer the call at the table. Sí. Ajá, cabal. Solo que ahí no dice todo lo demás, ¿verdad? Pero según lo que leímos, sí, o sea, deberíamos contestarla, decir perdón y, y, a, y contestar, pero hablar suave. Uh -huh, okay. Exacto, según lo que dice ahí. Bueno, pongámosle el B de todas maneras. Lo más que puede pasar es que salga mala. Pero... Y lo más que puede ser, Mauricio, a partir de mañana, que ya no sé, ignorar todas las llamadas. <risa> ya vas a ver por qué. Nos ah. pusimos en evidencia. Uh -huh. <risa> Hello, teacher. Hello, sorry. Did you finish? Uh, the, 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 la última, la última, yeah. Ah, you are in the last question. Sí, the last uh, question. And, no, did you, no, no. and did you check the new vocabulary? 
Not yet. Uh, Todavía no. Not yet. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, continue. Okay. And the number four is if you receive a call when you're eating with co worker, you show leave the table and answer the call. Mm. La número cuatro. La C. The letter C. No. Ajá, sí, la cuatro es la letter C. Ajá. Ajá. Sí, porque en el, en el... En el cuarto párrafo dice... Ah, en el último. No talk slowly while eating. I remember to close your mouth when you check. You should remember that your behavior and management. Manning. Hay palabras que me cuesta ah, no. <laughs> no, aquí en la... Ajá, sí, el, al principio dice que the etiquette with the lights are important even if in your celebration dice porque porque las work. pautas de etiqueta son importantes cuando estás celebrando con tus compañeros o tus amigos dice ajá uh -huh. if you get si tienes una llamada dice y estás oh, comiendo yes. dice hey. excuse me di, disculpa dice and then receive the call Ajá. Sí, es la C porque. You get, ajá, which you are in. Se eating, levanta y va a contestar la llamada. Ajá, reciben the call. Ajá. Lovely, perdón, Lovely. teacher, ¿cómo es? Donde dice, do Alta. not talk. Lovely. Alta. Lovely. ¿Qué, ¿Qué es esa Lovely. palabra? Lovely. 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 En voz Lovely. alta. Ah, en voz alta. Yes. Uh, so it's uh, it says it's in paragraph number four, right? Yes. Yes. It's where it says uh, do not talk loudly while eating, right? No hables uh -huh. en voz alta mientras comes, okay? Ah, mm -hmm. eso es. Yes, do not talk loudly. Me... Teacher, in manner, manner. What's the meaning, manner? manner. And manners are under observation. Manners. Habitos. In this case. Habitos. Yes. Okay. Habitos. Manners, se dice. Manners. 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 Behavior in manners. In... En guide, guide, we'll be, guidelines. Uh -huh. Así sería. Bueno, modales, guidelines. modales, modales would be a best translation. Modales, manners, uh -huh. modales. Uh -huh. Guidelines. Uh -huh. Y se dice así, Comportamiento de los modales. Yes. No es pautas. Teacher. Hello. No es, no es, guidelines no es pautas. Lineamientos, ajá, pautas, lineamientos. Lineamiento de... With the lines. Ajá, guidelines. 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 Ah, guidelines. Guidelines. Ah, guidelines. Guidelines. Pero no entendía yo. Yo le había puesto with the lines. Y es guidelines. Guidelines. Y ahí es guidelines. Guidelines. Ok. Bueno, creo que terminamos, Nia Mayra. Sí, 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 sí. ¿Y de ahí qué más vamos a hacer? Check the new vocabulary. Sí, guidelines. How, however. Yes. Commerce. No. Ajá, no however, es... however, no sé qué. However. 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 Sin embargo. However. Yes. En uh -huh. no lane. Knowledge. 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 Ajá. Knowledge. What is knowledge? Knowledge. Conocimiento. Exactly. Okay. Y se dice knowledge. 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 
deberíamos de practicar eh, cuando decimos palabras así con el lápiz debajo de la lengua. Language. Knowledge. Oh, yeah, it's a good idea. <laughs> Para aflojar la lengua. I like the idea. <laughs> Long Long knowledge. 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 No. 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 Knowledge. Claramente. Claramente. This meeting is being recorded. Claramente. Tiene que ser conciso. Y conciso. Ajá. Claramente y ser conciso. Ajá. Clearly. Uh, and be Clearly. Conci. Ajá. Okay. Esa sería como otra, otra frase también, ¿verdad? Sí. Clearly. Este y esta de detalles. 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 Eh. Sí, detalles. Ajá. Bueno, de ahí yo solo esas tengo, esas tres, digamos. Sí, veamos el otro párrafo. Eh, eh, perdón, y esta aquí. Daniel. Eh, Hola. En la sí, siguiente, sí. en la siguiente. Perdón. En, el, en la que estábamos, en el siguiente párrafo, en el segundo párrafo, donde dice Anipar, Anipar, eh, Par, que es Anipar, alguna eh, parte, en, alguna parte, ajá, ah, okay. en alguna de la palabra, ajá, en alguna parte del mundo. Alguna parte del mundo, sí, eso. Pasamos okay. al, al tercer. tercer párrafo. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. In addition, es una palabra addition. compuesta que es además. También, además. ¿verdad? Además. además. Ajá, esto además. estaba viendo que es otra palabra. Ajá, otra In addition, además. No, y volvemos a encontrar esta palabra de knowledge, knowledge. conocimiento. Knowledge. Ah, knowledge. El, el conocimiento de la etiqueta. Además, de el conocimiento de la etiqueta. Ajá. De la etiqueta de telefonía o teléfono. Es en, muy esencial. En, en el lugar de trabajo. Es, es muy, muy esencial. esencial. Nosotros necesitamos hablar. Uh -huh. Por teléfono. De algunos puntos durante. Los puntos. Ajá, aunque es como en algún momento también, ¿verdad? En algún momento de nuestro trabajo diario. Esta sería como otra, vez nuestro trabajo diario. Sí. Ajá, lo que quiere decir que en algún momento, en algún momento nosotros necesitamos hablar por teléfono durante nuestro trabajo uh -huh. diario. Pero, pero si se fija ahí la palabra que dice spam, vean como, pero ya, ya el, el sentido ya en el párrafo ya, ya dice que es en algún momento. The context is important. Ok, when you are translating, the context the con is important. El contexto es importante, ok, the context is important. Because literally, yes. literalmente irían en algún punto. But in this uh -huh. context, it's not ok, right? You say en algún momento del día, it's ok. All right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Ok, ok. Bipolar. Okay. Ajá, be polite. Sé cortés cuando uh -huh. tú hablas a, a tus empleados con o tus supervisores. Sí. Empleados o supervisores. Uh -huh. Escucha okay. con, con cuidado, dice. Listen to what they say carefully. Uh -huh. Escucha con cuidado lo que ellos dicen. Y no inter... Que no... ¿Qué quiere decir? Carry no. Ca 
Carefully. Carefully. Con atención. At Cuidado. Attention. Ajá, cuidadosamente. Ajá, escucha cuidadosamente, cuidadosamente lo que dice. Ajá. Ajá. Cuidadosamente. Cuidadosamente se puede. Carefully. Yeah. ¿Cómo es? Carefully. 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 Y no interrumpa, dice. And do not interrupt. Que hable en voz clara. Cuando, cuando tú hables. Quiero decir que su voz sea clara cuando para, para evitar malas interpretaciones. Esta es otra palabra. Wrong. wrong que no la conocía. Wrong interpretation. Eh, eh, interpretation. Dice ah. para, para evitar malas Incorrect. interpretaciones. O sea que wrong eh, es como malo o incorrecto. Eh. O equivocado. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Incorrecto o equivocado. Okay. Uh -huh. So, but in the context, you say malas interpretaciones, sí. it's better. Mm -hmm. what, what is pronunciation, teacher? Wrong. 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 You don't pronounce the letter W. You only say wrong. 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 Wrong, wrong. wrong interpretation. You avoid. Avoid. Interpretation. Avoid. 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 ¿Qué quiere decir? Avoid. Evitar. Evita. Evitar. Avoid is evitar. Ah, ok, gracias. Ok, no problem. Ah, Ahora la, el último párrafo. Ok. Santos, today is, uh, you have the one-on-one -on -one session today, right? Yeah. Yes, ok, yes. perfect. Ok, perfect. Can give the links. Dice las guías de etiquetas son importantes y incluso cuando tú estás celebrando con tus con tu compañeros de trabajo, de trabajo. Even, even, even es incluso y si tú recibes incluso, o sea, even, even even incluso ah, dice las guías de etiquetas son importantes incluso cuando tú estás celebrando con tus compañeros si tú recibes una llamada cuando tú estás comiendo, di perdón y entonces recibes la llamada. Y cuando uh -huh. dice, me... so I'm not that lonely. ¿Qué es lonely? Lonely what? No Fuertemente. Voz alta. Fuertemente. En voz alta. En voz alta. This meeting is being recorded. Okay, uh, well, first I want to say, uh, first I want to say, I'm sorry, I couldn't give you more time, all right? Lo siento por no poder darle más tiempo. I'm sorry because I couldn't give you more time. Uh, I said 20 minutes, right? But I gave 30 minutes, all right? Dije 20, pero di 30, because I know some people were working, okay? Creo que algunos no habían terminado aún. Some people hadn't finished, okay? Uh, but that time was enough, okay? Good. Uh, first, we are going to take uh, some time to check the answers for the questions, okay? So let's see. From group number one, let me see the groups here. I had four groups and we, had, we have four answers, okay? In group number one, we had Claudia, Hazel, Rafael, Ulises, and Wendy, right? So you will share question one, okay? Ustedes van a, van a compartir la uno. Ustedes deciden quién, you decide who, all right? Elenilson, uh, Mauricio, and Maria, Jose, number two, la número dos, number two, you decide who, you decide who, se decide quién. Number three, Doris, Javier, Carla, and Mayra, right? So you will share number three, the answer for question number three. And for question number four, Daniel, Elsie, Santos, and Walter, okay? De acuerdo? So in that order, in that order. Okay, let me share the questions here. Uh, so question number one. Number one, let's share number one. 
the question number one is if you know you are late, you chose. The answer correct is little b, call the person you report to. Excellent, that's very good. So you should call the person you report to. That's excellent, thank you very much. Question number two. Go ahead, Maho. Maho, hello? Yes, I guess so. What is it to apply in official email? And Liron P express the subject clearly. Excellent. So it's letter C, right? Express the subject clearly. Excellent. All right. Expresa el asunto claramente. Thank you very much, Maho and group. All right. Number three. Number three. Yeah, Mayra. Hello, Mayra. hello, hello. <laughs> Number three, Mayra. Which, Number, is not, which is not good etiquette when talking on the phone. The correct is the A, speak using clear voice. Mm -hmm. No. It, the, the, okay, the question is, which no. is not good etiquette? ¿Qué no um, es una buena etiqueta cuando hablas en el teléfono? Ah, uh, letter no, B. The, letter It's letter B. B, right? B, okay, read letter B. B interrupt uh, my... the other speaker. Excellent, interrupt the other speaker. That is the speaker. answer, okay? So the answer is letter B, B, all right? Letter B, okay, thank you, Mayra. Thank you. All right, number four. Eh, Walter. Okay, Walter, please, number four. The answer is letter C, oh, leave but, the table and answer the call. Yeah, but, but read the question too. If you receive a call. Okay, if, if you receive a call while you're eating with coworker, you should leave the table and answer the call. Leave the table and answer that? The call. Do we call. have a different? Okay, thank you, Walter. Do we have a different answer for this one? Tenemos una respuesta diferente para esa. No, no it's the every, same. Everybody has the same. Yes. Yes. Yes, it's correct. So the answer is this question was a little confusing, okay? Because it doesn't say directly that you have to leave the table, all right? Directamente no dice que hay que dejar la mesa, right? It says answer the call, but it doesn't say leave the table, okay? Yeah, but the answer is letter C. Leave the table and answer the call. Es lo más apropiado de hacer, right? It's the most appropriate thing to do. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, now listen. Um, we'll, do, we'll do an activity, okay? Pero en esta actividad me van a confirmar si escuchan o no escuchan, ¿ok? ¿Cómo me van a confirmar? Van a ir a reacciones y van a levantar la mano si me escuchan, si escuchan lo que les voy a reproducir en este momento, ¿ok? So let me reproduce, let me reproduce it for you. Let me reproduce it for you here. Ok, let me see. Ok, let me, let, let me show you. So, si escuchan el audio que les voy a reproducir, me levantan la mano, por favor. Raise your hands, please. So, can you listen? Or you can listen? No se escucha. No. No can you okay. listen. Okay, let me try again. Let me, let me look for something else. Now, please, tell me if you listen is to be punctual to your office if you are late because you had an emergency that is okay however habitual late con okay yeah you are indicating you can listen ya están indicando que escuchan okay listen ahora escuchen um, no sé si pueden tener el artículo a la mano el artículo que acaban de leer y vamos a revisar la pronunciación okay si quieren lo, lo abren por ahí en su teléfono abren el documento si quieren en otra pantalla y escuchamos y seguimos la pronunciación. Ok, listen carefully, please. Escuchen cuidadosamente. And pay attention to the pronunciation, ok? Lo vamos a escuchar tres veces. So please listen 
and pay attention to pronunciation, okay? Are you ready? Ya lo tienen ahí a la mano? Is it ready? Yes. Yes. Los que están en teléfono solo cambian de pantalla al manual, ¿verdad? Okay. Yes. Let's listen. Escuchemos entonces y sigamos la lectura. Let's listen and let's follow the reading. Es el artículo que acaban de leer, okay? Good etiquette at the workplace. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. However, habitual latecomers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisors. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your coworkers. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating, and remember to close your mouth when you chew. You should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotions. Okay, listen again. Escuchemos otra vez. Listen again, please. Se escucha siempre, ¿verdad? Can you listen? Yes? Confirm? Yes. Yes. Okay, so listen again. Yes. Escuchemos nuevamente. And follow the reading. Y sigan la lectura. Good etiquette at the workplace. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. However, habitual latecomers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisors. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your coworkers. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating, and remember to close your mouth when you chew. You should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotions. 
Ok, listen the last time. Escuchemos la última vez. Listen the last time. This is very important because you can check the pronunciation of the vocabulary, ok? So please listen again, follow the reading and pay attention to pronunciation, ok? Good etiquette at the workplace. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. However, habitual latecomers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisors. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your coworkers. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating and remember to close your mouth when you chew. You should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotions. Okay, uh, well, thank you very much for listening carefully. Now listen, uh, the idea of this activity is to, to listen, okay, to practice listening and to practice pronunciation, all right? We were supposed to pronounce, all right? Se suponía que íbamos a tomar un espacio para practicar pronunciación, pero ya no tenemos tiempo, okay? But we have time, okay? Para mañana tenemos tiempo porque la clase de mañana es un poco corta. So we have time for uh, tomorrow. Anyways. Um, si tienen un espacio, okay, in case you have one space, si se fijan en el WhatsApp, if you check WhatsApp, si revisaron el grupo, ahí les mandé un audio, ¿verdad? Yes? Yes. Yes, yes. Ahí, ese audio es el que estaban escuchando ahorita, así que ahí está el audio. Pueden escucharlo y pueden practicar la lectura si tienen algún espacio, ¿ok? No es obligación, eso es si tienen algún espacio, ¿ok? It's not an obligation, ¿ya? Yeah? Pero ahí queda el audio de todas formas, ¿ok? Para que practiquen ustedes. So you can practice. Tomorrow we will take one space to practice the pronunciation of this article, ¿ok? Mañana tomaremos un espacio para practicar la pronunciación de este artículo. Because I want to listen to you. ¿Ok? ¿De acuerdo? ¿Agree? Yes. Ok, let me pass the attendance the last time. Les pasaré asistencia la última vez. Aida. Claudia. Present. Daniel. Present. Doris. Present, teacher. Ellen Nilsson. Present, teacher. Elsie. Present, teacher. Irma. I am here. All right, thank you, Irma. Uh, Irving. He was connected, but now he's not. Javier. I am here, teacher. Mayra. Present teacher. Milton is not connected. Rafael. I am here, teacher. Santos. I am here, teacher. Sara. Ulises. Present teacher. Walter. Present. Wendy. Jessica. Present teacher. Okay. 
Hazel? I am here, teacher. Okay, okay, it's okay. I know you're working, Wendy. Don't worry. Uh, Hazel? Hazel se ha estado conectando, pero como que tiene mala señal, okay? Uh, Mauricio? Present, teacher. All right, Majo? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Present. Ok, so everybody, um, solo un recordatorio rápido, no olviden, mañana deben tener completa la sección número 3 antes de la sesión, por favor, para no estar como escribiéndoles mensajes privados, ok? Así que si no han trabajado la sección, por favor trabajar la sección 3 y tener la lista para mañana. Mayra, ¿tiene una pregunta? No, teacher, no. Ah, ok, okay. Thank you. All right, no problem. Ok, everybody, thank you for connecting today. Okay. Goodbye and good night. Goodbye, good night, good night teacher. Good night, teacher. Goodbye good and good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Y que se bañe Rafa. Se fue Rafa. Ya se fue. Se fue antes de que le dijeran que se bañara ahora, no. Rafa. Sí, no, hoy ni, hoy ni va a dormir ese. <laughs> Poor him. A bañarse, va. Sí. Cabal, a bañarse. Muy bien. Hasta luego, compañeros. Feliz noche. Bye, bye. Feliz noche. Good night, Good night teacher. Good night. Ok, Santos. Este espacio es para ti, así que adelante. Go ahead. Ok, teacher. No, pues, eh, solo pues personalmente darle las gracias por todo el esfuerzo que usted está haciendo por, por nosotros, pues, porque en realidad, pues, está haciendo, pues, está poniendo mucho de su parte, pues, sé que es su trabajo, pero, pero nosotros, pues, estamos agradecidos, bueno, yo, de mi parte, estoy agradecido por, por eso. Eh, y, y bueno, bueno, yo estoy poniendo también de mi parte, aprovechando pues el tiempo, aprovechando el tiempo, solo las veces que no me he conectado es porque en realidad no he podido, a veces he estado en el trabajo y sí me conecto, pero cuando en realidad no he podido, pues es, paso a sentirlo mucho, pero son pocas las veces que, que no me he conectado por eso. Entonces, pues, y sí, me está costando bastante porque ahorita ya siento bastante... Eh, difícil el, el trabajo que estamos haciendo, pero ahí vamos. Mi idea es pues, pues seguir hasta, hasta donde se nos permita, pues, ¿verdad? Y yo sé que lo que decía usted un día de esto, que el tiempo que estamos invirtiendo aquí, pues un día lo vamos a ver, pues, compensar. Definitivamente. Sí, 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 Entonces, pues, no, pues, este, yo de mi parte, pues, hay cosas que no, no las entiendo pero ahí trato la manera de, de cómo de investigarlas. Por ejemplo, hay palabras que no las entiendo, pero las busco, eh, busco la pronunciación y, y ahí vamos, teacher. O sea, poco a poco, poco a poco. Es un proceso, it's a process. Apenas, sí, estamos, en el, apenas estamos en el módulo 3 ahorita. Y, solo, sí. y son seis módulos solo del, del nivel 1. Desde el básico y luego vienen los siguientes niveles, el intermedio, el avanzado. Entonces, tenemos un largo camino que va a ser muy, muy productivo, por supuesto. Yo sé, sí, uh -huh. teacher. Sí, lo que estoy pensando, pues que ya en el eh, más adelante, pues a veces yo me quedo con las tareas. A veces yo me quedo ahora, por ejemplo, en, en, en hacer el, el correo. No, ah, por cierto, le iba a preguntar, no sé si le cayó el, mi correo. Sí, cayó o sea, el lo, el, uh -huh. Ajá. Sí, porque lo mandé, pero después estuve verificando a ver si, si, si había ido, pero no, no, no me aparecía. Sí, aquí me aparece, from Santos, ya, yeah, to Rafa, right? Sí. sí. Invitation, uh, the subject is meeting invitation. Ajá, sí, sí, Ajá. aquí me aparece, aquí me aparece. Ok, no Ajá. sé si lo sabían, pero hice es lo que pude. I am writing this email in order to, uh, ahí tal vez, I am writing this email in order to, invitation, ahí sería un verbo tal vez, para invitarle, ok? In order ah. to invite, ahí sería invite, el verbo, no sería invitation. Ajá. To invite, ah, yeah, yeah. we have a meeting tomorrow for company change, 
Thanks in advance for your participation. ¿Ok? Ajá, básicamente eso nada más. Ok, teacher. Y hay cositas de estructura, pero esas cositas las van a ir mejorando poco a poco a medida vayamos avanzando. Sí, sí, teacher. Uh -huh. eh, también este... No sé, para el siguiente... Para el siguiente módulo, este... Nosotros vamos a cambiar de empresa ya mañana, porque con la empresa que estábamos ya ahora fue último día. Ya ahora, ahora terminamos ya el último día con la empresa, que es JJ, que es la que nos ha estado inscribiendo. Entonces, este, ya para el otro mes, ya vamos, ya vamos a estar con otra empresa. Siempre en, el, en la misma área, en el mismo trabajo, pero ya va a ser otra empresa. No sé cómo si la... Siempre va a ser la misma secretaria que envía toda la documentación de nosotros. Uh -huh. Pero no sé este, si va a haber algún inconveniente en eso. Deberían este... hablar de antemano para inglés corporativo, a ver qué les dicen. Esa es mi sugerencia, eh, haciendo uh -huh. saber que van a cambiar de, de empresa, pero que es la misma persona que va a hacer la, la, lo, 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 enviar los documentos y todo eso, ¿verdad? Para, para sí. que se inscriban. Ajá, entonces deberían sí. consultar con anticipación a ver qué les dicen, porque ahí sí, ahí en cosas administrativas, sí, sinceramente yo no lo manejo. Entonces, sí, lo correcto. más recomendable es que pregunten ustedes con anticipación, anticipense por cualquier cosa, por cualquier inconveniente, okay. anticipense. Antes de la vacación, eh, porque ya esa gente yéndose a vacación va a costar contactar, sí, me sí. imagino. Yo voy a, voy a hablar mañana con, con, con la secretaria que manda uh -huh. la, la, la documentación, voy a hablar mañana con ella y le voy a explicar eso, de que, sí. de que hable. Ajá, pues, sí, sí. Pues que, ya, que... Mañana, ya mañana vamos a estar ya con la otra empresa. Ajá, sí, que hable o que hablen ustedes también, ajá, porque si ella les autoriza igual, pero que hablen ustedes que van a hacer cambio de empresa, que si eso no tendría ningún inconveniente, que ustedes le pregunten a las, a la persona que los contacta para, para inscribirlos, ¿verdad? Que es, no sé si es Jimmy o Luis Bonilla, no sé quién los contacta a ustedes. Luis Bonilla. Luis, Luis Bonilla, Bonilla, entonces, ahí aparece el contacto en el grupo de Luis Bonilla, si no me equivoco. Sí, sí. Ajá, sí, entonces, sí. Le, le, pueden, ¿le pueden llamar a él o le pueden escribir exponiéndole su caso? Digo yo, ¿verdad? Para que se anticipen. Yo creo que no habría problema, pero por sí. cualquier cosa, mejor anticiparse en vez de que se van a quedar fuera un módulo. Mejor anticiparse okay. y pregunten. No pierden nada con preguntar. Uh -huh. Sí, teacher. Voy a hacer eso mañana. Este, uh -huh. Voy a hablar primero con la secretaria y, y luego este, vamos, voy a hablar para, con Luis Bonilla, se llama, ¿verdad? Sí, Luis Bonilla se llama. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. Y Está así bien, para ya entonces. anticiparse a cualquier inconveniente que pueda haber y ya, ya lo tienen resuelto. Uh -huh. Correcto, teacher. Bueno, de mi parte, pues eso sería todo. Teacher. Ok. Thank you very much for staying. Thank you. Ok, teacher. Ok. You have, you have a good night. Oh, you too. Thank you. Good night. Ok. See you tomorrow. Ok. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.